Good morning, children. You know, when you read, you need to know what you've read about. Comprehension. It's like your mom hears a noise in the house. You know, she's, what, who did something? What did they do? Kids will try silence or say nothing, but that doesn't work with mom or teachers. When you read, you need to know who's important and what did they do. You need to be able to give details about it. Like that noise your mom heard, you know, who, Bubby, what did he do? He hit me because I'm eating too loud. I know in this at-home time, the struggle is real. But that's one of Jan Richardson's comprehension strategies to know who did something in the fiction work and what did they do. And remember, fiction is fake or make-believe. This book is called Tiki Tiki Timbo, retold by Arlene Moselle, illustrated by Blair Lent. It's one of my favorites. I remember it from third grade when I was a little kid. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, it was the custom of all the fathers and mothers in China to give their first and honored sons great long names. But second sons were given hardly any name at all. In a small mountain village, there lived a mother who had two little sons. Her second son she called Chang, which meant little or nothing. But her first, an honored son, she called Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Hip Peri Pimbo, which meant the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Every morning, the mother went to wash in a little stream near her home. The two boys always went chattering along with her. On the bank was an old well. Don't go near the well, warned the mother, or you will surely fall in. The boys did not always mind their mother, and one day they were playing beside the well. And on the well, when Chang fell in, Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Pit Peri Pimbo, ran as fast as his little, little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Most Honorable Mother, Chang has fallen to the well. The water roars, little blossom. I cannot hear you, said the mother. Then Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Pit Peri Pimbo, raised his voice and cried, Oh, Most Honorable One, Chang has fallen into the well. That troublesome boy, answered his mother, run and get the old man with the ladder to fish him out. Then, Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Pit Peri Pimbo, ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to the old man with the ladder and said, Old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. Will you come fish him out? So, said the little old man with the ladder, Chang has fallen into the well. And he ran as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well, picked up little Chang, and step over step, step over step, brought him out of the well. He pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. He pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. And soon Chang was just as good as ever. Now, for several months, the boys did not go near the well. But after the festival of the eighth moon, they ran to the well to eat their rice cakes. They ate near the well. They played around the well. They walked on the well, and Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Pit Peri Pimbo, fell into the well. Chang ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to his mother and said, Oh, most honorable mother, Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Pit Peri Pimbo, has fallen into the well. The water roars, little one, I cannot hear you. So little Chang took a deep breath. Oh, mother, most honorable, he panted. Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Char Bai Ruchi, Pit Peri Pimbo, has fallen into the well. Tiresome child, what are you trying to say? said his mother. Honorable mother, Chang Bari Rimbi Tiki Tiki Gas Pip Pip has fallen into the well. Unfortunate son.
son. Surely the evil spirits have bewitched your tongue. Speak your brother's name with reverence. Poor little Chang was all out of breath from saying that great long name. And he didn't think he could say it one more time. But then he thought of his brother in the old well. Chang bowed his little head clear to the sand, took a deep breath, and slowly, very slowly said, Most Honorable Mother, Tiki Tiki Timbo, No Saw Rimbo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Perry Pimbo is at the bottom of the well. Oh no, not my first and honored son, heir of all I possess. Run quickly and tell the old man with the ladder that your brother has fallen into the well. So Chang ran as fast as his little legs could carry him to the old man with the ladder. Under a tree, the old man with the ladder was bowed and silent. Oh man, oh man, shouted Chang. Come, right away. Tiki Tiki Timbo, Nosa Rimbo, Charbadruchi, Pip Perry Pimbo has fallen into the stone well. But there was no answer. Puzzled, he waited. Then with his very last ounce of breath, he shouted, Old man with the ladder, Tiki Tiki Timbo, Nosa Rimbo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Perry Pimbo is at the bottom of the well. Miserable child, you disturbed my dream. I flowed into a purple mist and found my youth again. There were glittering gateways and jeweled blossoms. If I close my eyes, perhaps I shall return. Poor little Chang was frightened. He could tell he couldn't say that great long name again. Please, old man with the ladder, please help my brother out of the cold well. So, said the old man with the ladder, your mother's precious pearl has fallen into the well. The old man with the ladder hurried as fast as his old legs could carry him. Step over step, step over step, he went into the well. And step over step, step over step, he went out of the well with the little boy in his arms. Then he pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. And pumped the water out of him and pushed the air into him. But little Tiki Tiki Timbo, Nosa Rimbo, Charbai Ruchi, Pip Perry Pimbo, had been in the water so long, all because of his great long name, that the moon rose many times before he was quite the same again. And from that day to this, Chinese have always thought it wise to give their children little, short names instead of great, long names. Now try for comprehension. See if you can say who was the most important and what did they do. And now turn to your mother and call her the most wonderful thing in the whole wide world. Tiki Tiki Timbo. No Sa Rimbo. Chari Bari Ruchi. Pip Perry Pimbo. Have a good day, guys.